Hey guys, uh, this is the warm up today. Okay, because there's only the green questions in here. Are the well, are the ones like you already did yesterday? So you know, like this. Okay, so we got that. Everyone pretty much has got that. Like two people need to get up to ninety or above. So let's not talk about that. Let's talk about this. All right. So Franklin says, for these types of questions, sometimes you have to find a supplement or complement. Not a compliment, just supplement. Yeah. Or sometimes they're asking for something completely different. How would you know the difference? So they're asking, okay, so that's a great question. Okay. So let's uh, <clears throat> use this teachable moment to categorize. If the lines are parallel, then uh, the angle pairs are all either congruent or supplementary. All right, so don't, which, what, what, what? I'm going to help you right now. All right, the CAs, does everyone remember what the CAs are, the corresponding angles? are congruent. Not just the corresponding angles, also the AIAs. And one more, the AEAs. They're, they're all congruent. Uh, oh. And the VAs, you know what those are? Vertical angles. All right. So that, that's that. And then the other one is the SSIs are the consecutive interior, and the SSEs are supplementary. That's how it works. So in this one, OPM is 63. Where is that OPM? Right there, 63. Okay, so see, these angles are vertical, so that's 63. All right, now the corresponding angle. What's the corresponding angle to this? 63, the corresponding angles. How about the alternate interior? Right here, 63. How about the alternate? Well, that's in the interior, but we know this is in the... Oh, look, these are alternate exterior. So there's four 63 degree angles. But as you know, this is a linear pair. So we must do 180 minus 63. Don't help me. It's going to be uh, 100 and uh, 117. Is that right? Oh, so I'm tired. All right, 117. And so we got a vertical angle here. That would be 117. How about the corresponding angles? 117, vertical angle there. We have all eight angles. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, next week we'll do more of that. We'll add the algebra. If you guys do the algebra yet, if not, you know, we'll be setting up equations along the same lines. All right, so that is, that is a, Little mini lesson, courtesy of Franklin. Thank you, Franklin, for posting such an excellent question. And here's another one. How do you remember the definitions of these questions? That is so fun. Ask that, Franklin. I actually have a dance uh, that we could do. So we'll have to do the dance. Uh, when I get back now, I can't remember if I have recorded it. All right, but just like, well, we'll wait, we'll wait on that. All right, but uh, we can for now go to the textbook. How do you remember? There's five types of angles and they're, uh, I always start by thinking about what's in the interior and what's in the exterior. 
Just remember how we have the interior and the exterior. So first of all, I say to myself, you know, is the is it is the angle in the interior or the exterior? Okay, because if it's in the interior, then it can either be alternate interior or same side interior. Or the tricky one, if one angle is in the interior and one angle is in the exterior, who knows what it is? Someone shout corresponding. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But I hope someone shouted corresponding because that would be the right answer. So one angle is in the interior and one angle is in the exterior and they're on the same side. That's the corresponding angles, same side. And then one's in the interior, one's in the exterior. Check it out, you can see that is true. Okay, but I always start with that, Franklin and everyone. Interior, exterior, all right. That, that gives me half the answer. Then the next thing I look at is, it, is it alternate or same side? You know, so I look at that transversal, T here. So one angle is one angle on one side of T and one angle on the other, or are they on the same side? You see? So that's how I remember it. And you know, after you practice it over and over again, a few times, then uh, you also will be able to remember. So number one, see if the angle pair is in interior or exterior. Number two, see which side of the transversal which angle lies on. All right, so that, and so hopefully update the organizer or ask your uh, classmates, Gabriel, about that one. And no constructions. Okay, so if you guys did, I think I said D5. So if you did D5, I'll give you a couple extra points for that. But if you didn't do D5, then you don't have to do D5. Okay, we're not gonna do constructions yet. So the other reason I wanna make this video was because I feel as though the assignments, the due dates for the assignments were not clear because I did not put them. Well, I put that everything is due tonight, you know, in like an hour and a half here. But then, uh, then I said, all of this is due Monday. Okay. So now I'm giving you time in class, 1021, you know, Thursday. So this, the Ed Puzzle video should always be watched by Wednesday night. Okay. This should be viewed by Wednesday night. That's okay. That is, an, and then I want the textbook organizer to also be done by Wednesday night. But of course, I'm going to give you time in class to finish it before it started or whatnot. Do by Thursday night. Okay. Try all the practice and problem solving. Yeah. So some people have just gotten in the habit of saying, you know, in the blue section, when I say, so what do you understand? What do you need to practice? What do you need to learn? They just say, all of them, sadly, I understand all of them. I'm the most amazing person in the world. Okay, well, you're gonna have to start proving it. Okay, and you know who you are. All right, so try all of the practice and problem solving exercises. I made it informative, but even if I don't make it informative, you should do it, okay? If you're always doing that, then you'll have, you'll be ready for the quiz. Uh, post at least three questions in the organizer. So this is due by Friday, but you can start it Thursday because it's a lot of work. Due by Thursday. Okay, I'm gonna need to see that tomorrow night. And then this is due by Monday evening. 11 59 p.m. All right. So, hey, everything's more clear, I hope, I think. And
keep those questions coming. Keep putting your red problems in there. And bye for now.